Um, all right, so we actually done two projects, a cool project and a fun project. <laughs> and we start by the cool project. So I, uh, I don't know about you guys, but sometimes when I'm in bed, I like to Facebook and I like to hold my phone like this. And I drop my phone on my face. And uh, it's, not too, it's not too fun. And the phones are getting larger and larger, so you can't really touch stuff up there with one hand. So it's like a two-handed phone. So I, I thought of an idea like to make a, a phone case that's uh, passive so you can actually interact with your phone. Just like this, like holding it like this. Um, so I got a touch screen that connects to a radio, 24 megahertz radio. And uh, you can actually interact with the phone uh, on the back of the phone. Although it's not on the back of the phone. I went to the trouble of uh, uh, making a case. So you guys are going to look at that. <laughs> And it would fit right there on the on the back of the phone, so you can just interact with the phone like this. And uh, it works it works pretty well. It's really sensitive. And that's good. Did it put a mouse on the screen? Yeah, it does. So you can actually see where you're touching. So the basic idea is to instead of using your fingers to the touch screen on the front, your fingers basically drop the screen. The idea is to move the touch screen to the back of the phone, so you can control this that way, so you can see the whole screen. Unfortunately, I didn't get the 3D, uh, in, uh, 3D drawing into uh, SolidWorks or into the ITLL last night. Um, so hopefully, I get to do that over the weekend to show you guys in the future. Cool. Yeah, they close on the Saturday, the Friday. They can do it yeah, on Sunday. They only, they only print one time a day, which yeah. is kind of a bummer, but um, All right, so the RC car is done. Um, we connected the two DC motors to an Arduino motor sheet, and we've made an app, and it's very user-friendly. Even if you can't read, you still can use it because they are a lot, and it's all about images. Um, the data from the Android will go to the Bluetooth and uh, directly to the motor sheet. Um, for example, if uh, I go backward, stop, right, um, left, stop, um, reverse, left, reverse, right, um, and it should be a mouse that can um, that the cat should trace it, and we've already made a tail for it that goes up and down, and it was working last night, but. Today, I think that servo motor got pulled out. But anyway, <laughs> um, let's put it uh, to the real world. I hope it doesn't break. Cool, all right. Good work.